Hello viewers, this is a reverse way to install um, a new a new lid on your 500 series 3 burner stove top for your caravan. After a bit of a drama with a cupboard and a bottle falling out, landing on this, which is actually glass laminate, smashed it and had glass everywhere, patched it up with gaffer tape as you do. Now I've managed to get the old one off um, and I thought it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. So I am going to attempt to install the new one. Basically the reverse of what I did and uh, taking the other one off. So we'll um have a bit of a go at it and See what they're happening. Okay, one side. Now, let's be gentle and not break the new one. <laughs> These are the old screws. Uh, I'm going to use the new ones. So, here. I have actually turned the AC off to the battery, so. We are, there's no AC plugged in, we're just running off solar at the moment and the batteries so that I don't electrocute myself. Now, let's, uh, before we put it back, it appears to work. Okay, now make sure I turn these back on, otherwise, nothing will work. Even though I think the uh, this is your piezo, it's the gas pipe. I don't think I've flexed that. I might give that a bit of a what? Oh, mini a bit of dust from travelling. Yes, dustproof. They said. No, far from it. Right. So, no. epic fail. Make sure that. Why is it plugged back in there when? Like so. And that. Yeah. Um, you do your best with your caravans to keep them clean, but at times things do build up and they need a spit and a polish. Okay, now. that recess back in as far as it can you'll find the original holes I'll do some video editing and skip all this fast forward a bit basically this is the reverse of what you have to do so these come out these come out slide the whole unit forwards and you can get access to the two side screws make sure that's home There. Now I'll start on the rear side. You know what? I'm going to leave all that on there. That's personal choice. One, it'll. Uh, Checked it all up more. Two, it will eventually come off.
Yeah, if you want to use a power drill for this, I suggest you can. I didn't want to. I probably should do so. It's a bit a lot easier. Actually, you know what? I think I will. Upgraded. Suggest you uh, keep your torque settings low. manually just get them up a bit well the other one had this top on it but anyway this looks pretty good okay just had to replace the lid on your Swift 500 series Thanks for watching.